I'm Jay Cashmere. This incident shows us the dire need for anti-venom here in South Florida, and we wanted to investigate further where vials come from. According to McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary, most area hospitals have enough anti-venom stocked for common venomous snakes in Florida. However, there is one place that houses all anti-venom for almost every poisonous snake, and that's a team, and there is a team rather, that handles it. Miami-Dade County Fire Rescue's Venom Response Team, also known as Venom Venom One has the largest and only anti-venom bank for public use in the U.S. The team was started back in 1998 from a black mamba bite, and from there they began servicing anti-venom response now in their 25th year. They provide anti-venom to hospitals in our area across the state of Florida and southeast region. They told me there are 44 native snakes to Florida, six are venomous, and on average they get two venomous bites per month. We have six venomous snakes in Florida, um, specifically four of them down here in South Florida. And the Eastern Diamondback is by far the most venomous and most dangerous bite um, in Florida, not to mention the United States 23rd worldwide. So um, we provide a service to the Southeast region that actually covers 95% of the venomous bites uh, worldwide. Now, Venom One educates the public. They go into schools, hospitals, and fire departments year round. Here are some tips if you encounter a snake in the wild and are bitten by one, leave the wound alone, they say. Call 911 immediately or poison control. That's another option. Do not put ice on the wound, do not put a tourniquet on it, and do not try and suck the poison out. That does not work. You need to get to the hospital as soon as possible, especially if it's a poisonous bite. The only treatment you have is anti venom. Back to you.